Hello all, my name is Krishnayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this particular video, we are going to discuss about some of the misconception that is revolving around data science. And this misconception is because of unnecessary discussion with people from various fields, you know. So let's go ahead and uh, here I'm just going to take the five most important misconception revolving around data science. And before this, guys, let me make you understand about two terminologies. One is citizen data scientist and one is data scientist. Okay. Now, whenever I talk about citizen data scientist, just imagine that you can actually become a citizen data scientist without any advanced degrees, right? When I say advanced degrees, that basically means masters of PhD. Okay. Now, what does this basically mean is that nowadays even people after just doing a statistics degree or after doing the engineering degree a bachelor degree you know that they can also go and solve use cases that are related to data science and which is now you know there are so many people you know who are actually working as citizen data scientists currently you know because they don't have any masters or phd degree and they are actually focused more on solving business use cases you know when i talk about use cases it may be a regression problem it may be a classification problem it may be different different problem statements right and if i talk about a normal data scientist which usually you see in most of the job roles you know they will be asking with respect to phd you know master's degree and many more things now those are the people who are pretty much more into research you know pretty much uh, when i talk about research they may be probably developing a new algorithm you know they may be probably you know, solving a very amazing use case you know where no built-in algorithms is there no machine learning algorithms or deep learning algorithms is there probably they will be doing some kind of research and coming up with their own algorithms itself yes currently bigger companies like amazon facebook google uh you know these all companies do this kind of work and they have so many data scientists who will be having phd degrees who will be having their master's degree probably they will be writing so many theses now this was the basic difference between a citizen data scientist and a normal data scientist now the question rises is that whether a citizen data scientist can become a data scientist yes as we go ahead with more and more number of years of experience as you keep on solving more and more use case you actually get that particular experience where probably in the future you'll be able to develop a new algorithm also this was what i was able to do in my previous company i tried to develop a you know pattern recognition algorithm for a very different use case right so this was it uh, that i was able to do now let's come back to the topic that we are basically discussing regarding the misconception regarding data science so the first thing is that you do not need a phd or master's degree to become a citizen data scientist right this is the very very important point and i hope i have made you understand based on the points that i have actually discussed right now coming to the next thing you you need uh, you do not need a data science certification to become a data scientist also guys nowadays you see that a lot of even like there's so many people who are still asking chris should i be doing this certification that certification uh no guys the answer is pretty much no because even in my previous company i've taken so many interviews you know in their resume they are writing this certification this falana certification that certification you know and when i try to ask them at least some questions they are not able to answer so what is the uh, you know use of the certification when you're not able to answer a simple stat question or simple machine learning question right this will really really give a very bad impression to the recruiter but yes if you have learned machine learning deep learning properly if you have if you're pretty much confident and if you really want to write any certification information go for it but don't make it as a priority remember certification is just like a cherry on top of your resume right to make your resume a little bit more attractive so please make sure that uh, don't uh, fall in this particular confusion with respect to certification coming to the third thing is that usually people say that whenever you are planning to make to a, a transition towards data science your previous experience will not be counted you know so this was the question recently put by one of my subscribers chris i'm seven years experience now if i'm planning to move into data science will i be treated as a fresher and my previous experience was in this and this specific domain i did some amount of programming i did this kind of activities so will that particular experience count if i'm planning to move uh, towards data science and the answer is guys yes definitely your previous experience will count why i'm telling you just let me explain in data science the most important thing without which the project will also not be initiated is your domain knowledge guys suppose if you are already working in a sales domain or e-commerce domain 
now you have learned data science you made a switch to a company where you have actually getting those kind of projects you will be able to efficiently solve that particular project because you already have a domain knowledge and nowadays also a person with just some statistics knowledge or with some uh, you know management knowledge because uh, people also do mba analytics right those kind of knowledge also they are able to make a switch into data science because they already have that specific domain knowledge itself experienced person who is working uh, around 6 to 7 years in that specific domain it can be e-commerce sales you know logistic i've seen so many people who are in logistic domain you know where they need to procure raw materials for the upcoming 6 months now they have learned data science they have made a successful career transition because they are able to solve that particular problem right so in their company also they'll be coming up with different different ideas okay they'll be saying okay why not just implement it i know machine learning why should not i i explain uh, implement in this particular way it will actually help you out so always remember guys your previous work experience your previous domain experience will always come handy okay so this is one of the thing again people will be discussing they'll say that no no you'll be treated as a fresher don't believe in that because your previous experience will definitely be counted coming to the fourth point guys you need not need a computer science or stats degree or background okay you can come from any background this is again the thing that i'm saying and right now i'll tell you i've given so many examples i've made so many uh, successful career transition stories you know uh, people coming from bca background people coming from civil background mechanical engineering background uh, they are coming from arts background also from non programming non technical background okay so you need not always be from a computer science stats or programming background guys you can also be a non programmer and yes definitely you are able to make a switch okay this is again a very important point guys just go and check out my career transition videos from there you'll be able to understand that but uh, it is not like you'll be able to make a switch like this only you really need to work hard okay but again people who are talking about different different things please don't believe them i have given you the example you can check out my things because i have seen people making those kind of switches right now this is a very important uh, discussion also that usually goes the fifth point is that data science is not all about model building you know whenever i talk about data science you know uh, many people will be thinking that we really need to just build a model they'll be talking about accuracy they'll be talking about other things you know guys it is not about model building it's it's just not about uh, you know model training you know there are so many things involved the entire life cycle of a data science project and as a data scientist they may be putting you in any life cycle of the thing you know some people may be put in model creation some people may be put in data pre processing stage some people may be put in hyper parameter tuning of the model some people may be put in and uh, deployment of the model so this is the most important thing that uh, you really need to understand right this is basically the fifth point that i really want to talk about uh coming to the some more uh, you know basic points that i really want to add on top of it this is just like an additional point you know uh understand one thing guys this is very very much important people think that once you get into a data science role you need not learn after that it is not like that guys you really need to learn continuously again this is the confusion many people have they feel that okay now i have made a switch now i have become a data scientist i don't have to do anything but you are wrong my boy you really have to learn strive a lot you know even now uh, after having so many years of experience even now whenever i feel uh, i get a new use case i definitely have to think how to solve it it is not that easy guys because every use case will be changing you know data set may be different the problem statement may be different right so always please keep sure that this uh, points are very very much necessary for you all to know that uh, and always remember guys always keep this points in handy whenever you are trying to do a discussion please make sure that you always keep all these particular points in your mind okay so that you don't fall into any unnecessary conversation with anyone right so this will in turn waste your time okay show them the proof give <laughs> the career transition videos that i have created in my data science channel give that playlist entire playlist to the people you know i'll add that particular playlist link in the description so i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe the channel if you are not a subscriber i'll see you on the next video have a great day thank you one dog bye bye